Hey, what's up guys? This video, we're gonna be talking about using nested for each loops. So to do this, we're gonna need some kind of 2D list. So what we'll do is we'll just create a list of lists. Pramp is a free mock interview platform where you can develop your technical interviewing skills. Practice coding with live execution of all major programming languages to solve real interview questions. Interview types include data structures and algorithms, product management, behavioral interviews, system design, front end, and data science. I've personally used this service to successfully crash course for a software engineering interview. Lots of people are having success getting positions at companies like Amazon, Google, Twitter, and more. Check it out, I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So to do this, we're gonna change the type here to a list of type integer. So that means this list is going to contain numerous lists of type integer. And the easiest way to initialize this is probably just to use the add method. So what I'm gonna do is on the right over here, first off, just push this down for later. We're gonna use that later. I'm just gonna use the same thing on the right side. There we go. And then prefix it with a new keyword, of course. And on the right side, we can't directly initialize a list because that is an interface. So what we need to do is we need to use a specific type such as array list. Now we can use the add method. So we can just say grades.add and here's where we're gonna use this. Cut that, paste it right there. Get rid of that semicolon, put it on the outside. And we can do that a couple times if we wanna put a couple lists in there. Change up the numbers a little bit. And there we go, we got a 2D structure. So now inside of this four, we have an issue. You can see we have grades is not working. And that's because it no longer contains integers. Instead, it contains lists of integers. So we need to say list of type integer. And then on the inside, we create another one which works with the integers directly. So the naming here is a little unclean because this is called grade, but it shouldn't be because it's a list. So we're gonna change the name of this to all grades. Change that down here as well. All grades. Change this one to grades. I'm just gonna get rid of that for loop. We don't even need that. Let's make sure all the names are updated. And now in here we can work with an integer called grade and that comes from grades. Then inside of here we can just output grade. And then after this entire for loop we can do a new line just to space it out a little bit better. Like so. All right, do an output, let's see what we get. All right, so each one of these is on a new line, so if we wanna fix that, we can just get rid of that print line and just use print. You might wanna throw in a space or a tab or something in there though. Running this, we now get that structure just like we had up here. So this is the first one, next one, and the third one. So you can see everything is right. So that's how you do nested for eaches. Hopefully that's nice and juicy and helpful for you guys. Be sure to check on the next video because I'm sure it's gonna be even better than all the videos so far, which I know is pretty hard to believe. So go check it out and subscribe.